did you see drug dealers? Somebody just jumped out and started shooting. Camden, New Jersey. The murder rate seven times the national average. Christmas a year ago, there were four murders in 48 hours, including one of the city's most promising college students and star athletes who went down when street thugs started firing. Camden is also considered the poorest city in the nation. Literally every day, kids are going to bed hungry. The average income for a year, $18,000, less than the price of one motorcycle. $10,000 less than the average cost of a wedding in the rest of America. In Camden, jobs are hard to come by. Manufacturers left decades ago. I'm frustrated because New Jersey is the richest state in the nation, but yet Camden is the poorest. 81-year-old Mayor Gwendolyn Faison. And there's no reason for our children to have to suffer like this. 58% of the children living in Camden live below the poverty line. Children like a little four-year-old boy with big dreams of getting to go to school. All around him on the horizon, abandoned houses, drug dealing, gunshots he hears at night. Sometimes they'll uh, shoot when I sleep. I put the pillow over my head because it'd be too loud. His name is Ivan Stevens. He keeps telling us how much he wants to learn to read. Though he and his family, his mother, Precious, his little brother, Emir, are homeless. At times, they spend whole days outside in the park, dirty, hungry, no place to go. What did they eat today? We ain't eat nothing. When we meet Ivan a year ago, the owner of an illegal boarding house is giving them a place to sleep at night, but padlocking the refrigerator to keep them from taking food. All three of them have been sleeping in this one chair for five months. I go to sleep like this. But Ivan dreams of a solution to their problem. He wants to become Superman. Superhero or somebody let me fly on those back. He has dreams that he wish he can fly to get us a house. When I see a house, then I get it. Superman has also heard of kindergarten, and he's practicing numbers with his little brother. Say one. Say two. Say. Say three. Ivan's mother is 25, and long ago it seems she was caught in an undertow. She struggles to read herself. She has little training for any job, and her mother, Ivan's grandmother, Wanda, uses crack. If I go buy a bag of crack, and I can't buy a loaf of bread, and the kids looking in my face, I feel guilty. My mom, she has a, a temper problem. I can't do it no more. I am 45 years old, and I got nine kids. I need a life, too. I need a life, too. The Bible. Ivan tries to console his grandmother by getting her Bible. <laughs> <laughs> After he, his brother, and mother are turned out of that boarding house, they sometimes spend the night with Wanda, sneaking into the one room belonging to her boyfriend. Precious could qualify for subsidized housing, but only if she shows progress in searching for a job. She says without a home, she just can't get a grip on moving forward. Every day, she comes in here prepared to look for a job. Thank you. Just keep me in prayer. Even with no home, the family never misses church. Their pastor, Reverend David King of Community Baptist, decides he'll help them find a place to live. This is huge. It looks promising. A friend of the pastor offers an interim place for what they can scrape together. We gotta make it nice and clean and safe and warm. Ivan signals us he's too excited even to speak. He sings a hymn for the preacher. Let's go down. The river, and let's go down by the river. Three days later, the friend decides it's just too risky and pulls back. My heart is going to be sad. I want my own room, and I'm never going to get it. So Reverend King sets out again, and this time thinks he has a small apartment for Ivan's family. 
someone even left lacy curtains in the window. I like it and it's beautiful and it's got pretty curtains. I just say, Mommy, try to keep this out. They search for someone to help them, just a few hundred dollars, but the church is poor. No money can be found. The apartment falls through. So last June, Reverend King personally pays $50 a week to bring the family off the streets and into one room with one bare bulb. Ivan, who always hoped for a home by the time he goes to school, is thrilled. I love it, and it's in our prayer, and I thank you, Lord, and thank you, and that's the place. But a month later, they're turned out and have to move in with relatives, five in one room on one of the most dangerous blocks in Camden. Soon after they arrive, one person is shot and killed. Five are wounded right around the corner. But by now it is September and Ivan's first day of kindergarten. He is sleepy, his school clothes all laid out on the bed. No breakfast in their home, just a quick shower in a communal bathroom. His one school uniform, many sizes too big. I'm going to put a big smile on my face. I want to go to school, it's so bad. I want to read. So Ivan sets out early in the morning, just like hundreds of thousands of other little American kids setting out from their homes. The average family has spent $500 to get a child ready for the first day of school. The kids have been read to 1,700 hours. But Ivan can only wish for books in his life. On the way to school, he gets scared the other kids might be mean to him. All right, don't be scared. But you gotta be a big boy, okay? I'm not gonna ever leave you nowhere that you're not welcome. I just want to see you. Hi, who do we have here? Tell me your name. Tell me your name. Tell me your name. You look like a kindergartner. Everybody, this is Ivan. Everybody say good morning to Ivan. He has never been in a classroom before, and he's hungry. Eat. Time to say goodbye to his little brother. The school administrator sits down with a new little kid who's so afraid. You know your threes? There are three wheels on a tricycle. Show me them. One, two, three. Very good. Very good. Ivan proudly knows his threes, but he's stumped when asked how many meals you're supposed to eat a day. When do we eat? In the daytime. Morning. What's the next time? Uh, we can bring lunch. Lunch. And then uh, what do we do before we go to bed? Uh, <laughs> dinner. Across the nation, the U.S. government says 12 million children lack access to enough food to meet their basic needs. At the end of the day, Ivan has so much to report. We ate cheese. He gets an extra fruit juice, tucks it in his backpack. I'm not going to cry no more, and I'm going to be a big boy. And bravely, like Superman, heads back to his temporary home.